There are three topics within this counting technique section. The first topic we've covered, which is the multiplication rule. The second topic is permutations. And the third topic is combinations. Now, we actually don't need to cover permutations because they are a special case of the multiplication rule. But permutations are so closely related to combinations um, they deserve their own separate section. Plus, there's a few spin-offs of permutations, like circular permutations and such, that are also covered here. So here's the definition. A permutation is an arrangement of R objects selected from a set of N objects without replacement and in a definite order. And those are really the keys to the definition is if order is important, then you're looking at permutations. If order is not important, then you're looking at the next topic, which is combinations. Here's an example. List the permutations from the set ABC selected two at a time. In this particular case, we have n equals three objects. And those three objects are the letters A, B, and C. And we are going to take them r equals two at a time. So to list them out, we can go AB, AC, BC. And then since order is important, we can reverse each of those. And we can go BA, CA, and CB. So there are six different permutations of two objects selected from three objects. So here is a theorem that will tell you how to calculate how many they are. So what we just finished doing, of course, was enumeration. But what we're about to do right now is just look at a way of counting them. So the theorem states the number of permutations of n distinct objects selected r at a time without replacement is. And you can either write it out in this fashion, or you can write it out in terms of factorials for r equals 0 through n. And n is a positive integer, and 0 factorial equals 1. Now, the proof of this theorem is actually by the multiplication rule, because permutations are a special case of the multiplication rule. So think of it this way. The first object that you select, there are n different ways of selecting it. In this case up above here in the example, when you decide who you're going to put in first position, you have three different ways you can go. Then for the second object that you select, there are n minus 1 different ways of doing it. So in this case, once you have that first position pinned down, there are two different ways of choosing the object that will appear in the second position. And then there are n minus 2. And there are a total of r terms out here. And so there is your proof by the multiplication rule. And again, this can be written as n factorial divided by n minus r factorial.